Hi folks and welcome back to another Travels Red Rover. I'm Sean. And I'm Corrine. And where are we tonight? We are in Goblin Valley in Utah near Hanksville. It is a, an amazing state park and we're here to do some photography. Uh, mostly we're going to do a little sunset and then hopefully if it stays clear we're going to do some eerie moon shots. And what I mean by that is using the moon to light up the goblins. So let's get started. Well, our sun is sinking down to the west over there, and there's a bit of a cloud bank, so we're getting much more subdued lighting. Uh, it's good for reducing the contrast, but um, it might not work out for really good sunset pictures. We'll have to see. Uh, hopefully the sun won't be too obscured, and we'll get some color up in these clouds. Well, I just set up for my first shot using this little solo goblin, and the sun is getting ready to set off to the right. The uh, stone is lit on the right side and this face a little bit, and we got a nice little layer of high cloud up behind it to add a little interest. I haven't done anything particularly special. Uh, my camera is set on aperture priority. I'm at f16 and I've set my camera to ISO 100 because nothing is blowing in the breeze that we have and letting the uh, camera set the shutter speed. So we'll see how this turns out. Nice simple little composition. Well, it's a little past sunset, a sunset back behind me. I moved to a new location uh, with a solo hoodoo just because I was trying to uh, maximize the clouds that were behind it, hoping I'd get some color in those clouds, but no luck yet, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I'll hang in for a little while longer just to see if it will. Uh, unfortunately, if I aim Back in the west direction, behind that, towards that hoodoo, I'm getting a lot of shadows on this side of the hoodoo, which is the east side. And uh, the sky is properly exposed, but I'd have to bring up the shadows quite a bit to make this an interesting picture. Here you can get a sense of the clouds that we have in the west obscuring the sunset and you can see that those clouds look quite blue-gray, no color in them at this point. Uh, so it's not turning out to be the best sunset picture. You may have noticed that we are now numbering all the photographs, so please don't hesitate to tell us which ones you liked, which ones you don't like, and why down in the comments below. Just out there is the moon rising in the east. It's up pretty high already. You can see not much in the way of clouds obscuring it. So although we haven't had a great sunset, we might still be able to get some interesting uh, moonlit pictures of these hoodoos if we hang in there a little while. And here are a couple photographs featuring the moon. We hope you enjoy them. Thank you. 
Well, sunset happened a little while ago. We didn't get the great cloud cover we wanted. And now we're waiting for twilight and a little after for more dark. And we are going to do some moonlit goblins here in Goblin Valley. Now we're going to cheat a bit and I'll show you how. Over here, you'll see a bright light up on the tripod. We're going to use that to light up the selection of goblins we're using. And we'll see how that works out to help us. Just aiding the moonlight a little bit. Hi folks. So one of the things to remember when you're shooting uh, dark sky, night photography, or anything involving moon as you're lighting or, or with lights at nighttime in, the, in a landscape setting, and that is to continuously check your histogram. Make sure you're not clipping your shadows when you're taking shots. And don't be fooled by the back of your camera. The back of your camera will show you a photograph or, or an estimate of the photograph that is much brighter than it really is. And you need to make sure you have the histogram uh, completely between the left and right side uh, so that later on when you're working in Lightroom or Photoshop, you can uh, collect back those shadows and enhance your picture. Karina and I take a lot of test shots when we're shooting at nighttime. We're examining where the light is falling on the subject, especially when we're using lights and the moon to light the subject. So while we've been working out here, we noticed that there was a little less cloud to the west. So we re-centered our picture and tried to get more of the western sky in. I think we're getting a little of Venus as it sets, and that's adding to our pictures. The first two photographs in this series were lit with the lights, but the last two photographs were lit with only the moon. Well, folks, this has been a fun evening as we've shot a couple hoodoos under lights, uh, but it's getting time to wrap things up and hike back out of here. We got a little bit of a hike to do in the dark, which is always a fun event, too. We got a full moon. That helps quite a bit when you're walking out in the dark. It really does. It's amazing how much your eyes will get used to the, the light and your headlights won't be totally necessary. In fact, sometimes you can do it without the headlights at all. Well, folks, we sure hope you enjoyed that video tonight. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, please hit that subscribe button. And we appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far. And if you have any comments about uh, or questions about shooting at night, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below. And we sure hope you'll join us very soon. And until next time, bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>